If you are looking for expert guidance on best practices for health and safety during a pandemic, then Dr. Judy Mikovits might seem like an excellent choice. Dr. Mikovits has a PhD in biochemistry and molecular biology from George Washington University, a well-regarded research institution, and has worked as a staff scientist and lab director for the National Cancer Institute. She's even published research on viruses in Science, one of the most influential and highly cited academic journals in the world. Her credentials as a scientific expert seem pretty good on paper, but dig a little bit deeper and things start to get weird. In May of 2020, Dr. Mikovits appeared in a popular social media video where she argued without evidence that the COVID-19 pandemic was part of an elite global conspiracy and spread multiple false claims, including the myth that wearing a face mask will activate the virus in your body. This video was viewed millions of times on YouTube, Instagram, and other online platforms. It gets worse. Dr. Mikovits has also made wildly inaccurate statements suggesting that vaccines have killed millions of people. And that research she published in the journal Science? It turns out the article was completely discredited by the scientific community because it was based on flawed and misrepresented data. The editor of Science retracted the article, meaning the journal no longer endorsed it as valid research. In light of this additional information, it's clear that Judy Mikovits is not the credible expert she may have appeared to be at first glance. Unfortunately, Dr. Mikovits is not the first person to spread misinformation by exploiting her credentials. For many years, corporations, political organizations, think tanks, and other groups have hired their own experts and funded dubious research to promote their preferred views on any number of issues. They also hire PR specialists with no scientific expertise to create websites or participate in televised debates, and their political or financial affiliations and lack of expertise may never be revealed to the audience. With all this misinformation and propaganda surrounding us, it can be tempting to think that expertise doesn't matter, that every source is equally biased, and that any opinion is as good as any other. But the reality is expertise matters. No one can know everything, so we must rely on experts to make informed decisions, not only about our health, but also about many other aspects of life, whether it's getting a car repair, investing in the stock market, or navigating a legal matter. The good news is that most experts follow ethical standards and offer their perspective based on legitimate evidence and professional experience and their views are often substantiated by other experts working in the same domain or discipline. This is why professors require students to use peer-reviewed sources. They have been evaluated by subject experts prior to publication. And as we saw with Judy Mikovits' science article, while poor research sometimes makes it through the system, the wider community of scientists ultimately discovered the problem and rejected the research. Experts know better than to rely on any one person or any single study, so they've developed systems like peer review to guard as much as possible against misinformation and junk science. They also understand that knowledge is provisional and may change as new evidence comes to light. We're often told that we should pay attention to the author's level of expertise when evaluating websites, articles, or other sources. And this is absolutely true. But we also need to dig deeper, past the fancy degrees and impressive titles, to fully assess the credibility of a given expert. How do we do this? Watch the next video for three tips to help you assess an expert's credibility.